What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we have the second day of Star Expedition going, totally wrong button to hit right there, as always, Barry, Star Expedition, there we go, we have the boss that we need to at least just do one hit on, um, in reality, we probably should wait, but I'm not gonna be around till later, so, uh, yeah, I guess at the end of each round, we just one layer calamity, that's fine, that's fine, as long as, as long as we are not, yeah, we should be good to go. These two are not as important, but we need to use up our attempts. Well, actually, we need to do, what, two of them today? So here's what we're doing. Number one, we need to put a couple heroes into our hero advance, one of them being the Olivia, the other one being the Ignis, because they are going to be part of our team. But the big thing we're going to try to see today, um, as far as I know, his sublimation has not been, like, uh, the counterattack thing has not been... Fixed, I guess so we're not gonna use him as a damage dealer, but we're gonna see if he can be a support hero Pretty much like a stand-in for Vesa if you decide to go for him instead of Vesa And we're gonna be doing our big daddy damage build here with our Lord of Fear Aspen. So uh, One thing to note we need to change one more hold on I just realized you Gotta go to balance strike if you hear some noise in the background guys. I really do apologize today <laughs> He's <laughs> going absolutely mental, so it is what it is, but um, okay, so we have candy bar on him because he's going to be the substitute for the Vesa. We have antlers cane here, just doing one last double check through and everything, making sure everything's right. We need a very fast, very, very fast Freya. So Freya, we actually have is like one of the main houses, honestly, and uh, yeah, we have a demon bell on her. We need her going first, mainly because we need to get these poison stacks going to, you know, Deal some extra damage against poison enemies for our hero. The other thing this month, too, I almost forgot to point out, is we have a two-star version of her core. Not quite three, but it's two-star, so it is better. Uh, and then lastly, we have Queen. Queen is going to be the other one here. Where is she? There she is. Queen's going to be the other one that has a demon bell. We need two demon bells to feed energy every single round. And I think we are good to go with the speed. She's going to go second at 2209. And then third is going to be Lord of Fear Aspen. Actually, no. Aspen. I, no, no. I want, I want Aspen to go second. Yeah, that, that's right. I was like, wait a minute. That didn't sound right. And then after that, we got Isla Mock. And then we have the two support heroes. The first one being Ignis. Going to be rocking that candy bar. And the other one being Olivia. Again, going to be rocking that candy bar. So I'm hoping I got this all set up properly. Fingers crossed. Let's hopefully we hopefully we didn't mess things up. So let's jump in here. Um, so these early levels are pretty easy. It's gonna hurt our overall score, but again, we have to put this team in properly. I need him in the back row this time, and I need him across from the boss because I think the tentacles might still be up. Um, besides that, we want what? We want... Gosh, you're so far down in the list. Even like... Even with all those upgrades, absolutely crazy. We're going to put you here, you here. We're going to put you here. Um, we need to feed the Ignis. Where's the Ignis here? The Ignis needs to be behind you. That's good because you, she needs to feed the energy. Usually we'd have her in this slot and Aspen in the front. Uh, but we need to make sure Aspen is hitting the back row boss, which is important. Uh, we then also need our Olivia, which is up to V4 for that. And then lastly, we have the Queen, which is going to be giving that all damage dealt. And we are going to go with the Snake. And we are going to go with the Core. So it's level three right now. Pretty good. Not, not too bad because we have a buff from a level three core on him. I think this is what we got. I think, oh no, did I put the right imprints on? Oh, I guess the tentacles are already gone. So we can't actually change the order. Um, what is up with the damage numbers? Did this update just make the damage numbers go back to the old system? Oh no. <laughs> Either way, we should be able to take off two bars very easy from this. Um, but as you guys can see, the survivability honestly feels even better than it did with uh, <laughs> with Vesa. That definitely seems like something we can do here now. Uh, let me go check. You guys might need to do the same thing. Number display. Yep, it reset back to the old system. Whatever. That's interesting. Uh, what I wanted to say is not our actual hero imprints, but our star imprints. Because, of course, we are going to be running the four-piece cause, which we do have. Yep, right, all right, yep, cause, four-piece, that's good. Uh, and then we're just going to use two pieces of a couple different sets here. Uh, Destiny, 
It's probably fine. I kind of like this way. Crit damage, holy damage. I like all these things, I think. They're our best attack ones. These guys are giving the most raw attack, which is kind of why we're using them. Wow, it looks so weird seeing stuff with commas now. I like it, especially the HP. I didn't realize it was actually giving that much HP. For some reason, I thought it was like 7,000 or something. Whatever, but the cause is set up. It's good to go. Let's do our second. Well, actually, no. Can we we got we to gotta do three attacks today. Uh, so it'll be three full bars, but let's do this now. Since it is just the boss, we can move these heroes around a little bit. I think that still looks pretty good to me. Again, we're just rocking it right now just because of the sheer amount of damage we can output in this team. Um, and the whole point here is just to make sure our Lord of Fear Aspen gets an active every round. Um, there we go. And then he goes, boom, big damage. Yep, that's good. Uh, he's, of course, going to do more damage when the target drops below 60%. Especially when the target is shrunk as well. So this round is going to be a big damage here, I think. Wait. 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 Why is he silenced? Did I mess something up? Oh, no. I think it might be one of the effects, honestly. I think one of the effects has a chance to silence people. Oh, my God. He just deleted them. He just utterly deleted them. Um, Is it one of these two, actually? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we have this set up right, right? I just, just want to make sure because day one, this is important. Yep, at the beginning of each round, remove self all control effects. So yeah, it should work. Should be working. I don't know. We'll do our third attack though. Uh, that way we have our self free and ready to go for the next round. I think. But yeah, look at the shielding. I, I definitely think, honestly, he's a better hero. <laughs> he's just a better shielder than even Vesa is. And that's with Vesa getting like actives every round. It's kind of crazy. Uh, our energy feed is a little messed up and wonky. This gives us a day to kind of do some testing. But we did get some, some health bars gone for our guild. And we should be in a good spot, man. He's just deleting stuff by himself. Oh, that is nice looking. Oh, wait, no, we already had those come. Never mind. Never mind. Just I'm um, overhyping things for no reason. Just ignore, ignore this guy over here. Um, yeah, tomorrow will be the good test though because we'll have all of the star blessings done. And then we'll just have to make sure everything is pretty much good to go. I think. I think everybody's set up right. So we'll have to see. But definitely, definitely, definitely feels like Ilamok is the better option between Fairy Queen Vesta and him, at least in this lineup. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. We'll be have a better test as we get to lower HP bars because he's going to start doing more damage to us, and that'll really show the strength of the shield. I'll see you guys next time.